Hello friends, welcome to Adhesh Academy. Most of us want to do the things which we are passionate about. We want to follow our passion and for this it is required that we should know what our passion is. Most of the people follow the herd and follow the right race and wherever most of the people are going, they also want to go to that direction. It's like every man seeking the most beautiful girl for himself. But as you know, that most of the relationships break when you built it on the basis of only the physical attraction. In the same way, when people follow the passion or what they think that is their passion, they are unable to succeed. Why? So let us try to understand the mechanism of passion and how to discover passion. We are all born with certain potentialities. Now these potentialities are like small seeds which are there in our genetics, which are there in our genes. These can be of different types. For example, your potential can be for writing, for being an artist, for a musician, for a singer, for a sportsman, for an athlete, for a leader, so many things. Now these potentials are hidden in us. These potentials are like seed which cannot be explored unless there is a right situation for it. So sometime what happens that when the right situation is created, then these potentials come out. For example, when Mahatma Gandhi was thrown out of the railway compartment in South Africa, then he realized that he cannot tolerate the things like that. He stood up against the injustice and he explored the leadership qualities in himself. In the same way, Maharshi Valmiki was a bandit. He never knew that he has a potential to become a great saint. But when some saints came met him and asked him the question that whatever crime you are committing for the sake of your family, whether your family is going to share the sin also or not. And when Valmiki went to his home and found out that the family is not willing to share the sin, they are only willing to share the loot, he understood and thereafter he followed the saint and become a greatest saint also. Tulsi Das was also a very very ordinary person. He was infatuated with his wife but once when his wife ashamed him he realized that he should not go for the physical things and thereafter he became a very great saint. So certain times my friend some jerks are required, some tragedies are required, some situations are required when we are compelled to find our passion and in some other cases what happens that we ourselves realize our potential because we are trying different things in our life. For example, I realized the potential of being a writer when I did my PhD and I was forced to write research papers. In the same way, people find their passions in a very different way. Now suppose Sachin Tandulkar would not have been given training for cricket when he was young and his father would not have been interested in the training of cricket he would have never known that he could be a cricketer. So you have to understand that we have all born with certain potentialities, certain capabilities, but these potentialities lie hidden in us unless we give it an opportunity to come out. The best way to explore and find out the passion is to try different things in our life and thereafter we see what our heart like and we should also see where we are good at. These two things are very very important. You should be good at what you are passionate about and you should also enjoy doing what you are passionate about. Suppose you are a writer, you love writing but nobody want to read your books, nobody want to appreciate your writing. In that situation it will be very difficult for you to carry on with your passion. Suppose you are passionate about cricket but whenever you go to the field you are out on a duck. You can't score any run. So what will happen? you cannot become a passionate person about the cricket. So we have to understand that these potentialities and the passion and our feelings for it has to go together and only when all the three things, our action, our feelings and our performance matches with each other, then only we can realize our passion. So I hope that you have been able to understand the real meaning of the passion and how we should discover our passion by accepting and understanding our potentialities and then develop those potentialities to a level where we can achieve excellence and we can feel confident about it. Thank you very much for watching the video and I am sure that you will be able to understand how to discover passion by knowing our potentialities and all the best to you. Thank you.